Hello and welcome back everyone to Legacy of the Duelist on Rocket Rabbit Commentaries. I understand that we're uh, going through the intro movie again, but because that is specifically because we, we actually uh, are starting a new recording session. Um, after, uh, I make a point of doing this after the, uh, at the start of every arc where, you know, um, uh, r roughly a recording session uh, does most of an arc. And yeah, we're starting Battle City this, uh, this time. Mm. Hey, in, hey, in, uh, info mate. All right, he's called the info mate. I, I, I think I'm just gonna call him the info bot. I mean, he's well, yeah, yeah, the the info bot, I N F. Mm. But yes, we actually skip over the entirety of this date, which means we don't get to see uh, a Johnny the duel against Johnny Steps. Mind you, the duel against Johnny Steps is a total of like four fucking turns, so it's not really all that big of a thing to skip out on. As long as we're as long as we're dueling Rare Hunter, because I actually enjoy watching the duel between Yugi and Rare Hunter quite a bit. Uh, which is weird because you know it's a it's a lengthy duel, but for the wrong goddamn reasons. And it's gonna be a lengthy duel in this part too, just also for the wrong goddamn reasons. See, if you were watching from the beginning of Yu-Gi-Oh! The Pilot to the Through Duelist Kingdom, this is the most plausible duel yet encountered. And how so? It follows the rules. You know, that isn't true because we do see most of Joy's duel against Seeker, so there's that. And, and, we also see Kaiba's uh, a a duel against the testing pot uh, where he's, you know, testing out Obelisk. Where Joey is testing Obelisk? No, when, when Kaiba is testing Obelisk. Oh, Kaiba's testing Obelisk. But, but uh, Obelisk doesn't count because uh, Obelisk doesn't even, like, make sense in context. He doesn't do the same things as actual Obelisk. That's true. Anyway, as annotations good as mentioning here, the the objective for the, of, of this uh, duel is very specifically to get out light of intervention, so that when Seeker attempts to set one of the Exodia pieces, you can uh, kill all the Exodia pieces with chain destruction. If you so if you running... fail to resolve this exact combo, you will lose this game. You are guaranteed to lose ah. this game because Seeker is running a uh, a deep draw version of uh, uh, of Exodia. And by deep draw, I mean he's running triplets of pretty much every draw spell uh, that he has access to, and a bunch of draw spells he would normally not have access to, like Pot of Duality. Well, that's a card that appeared during the duel with Stone Statue, because all he does is just try defending himself, and later he's going to try summoning Gear Golem to Moving Fortress. But a thing that I forgot is that Light of Intervention also affects our own monsters. So, uh, yeah, we can't actually set our uh, Gamma the Magnet Warrior. There! Now, activate Chain Destruction! Yay, we win. Now, mostly because we hit the head, and, you know, he can't actually recover any of the head pieces. Cheater! He had an Exodia in his hand, and he had an Exodia in his deck, but now none of them are in his hand, and he can't get them back. Yeah. I mean, we really could have locked this up by doing Chain Destruction on the left arm. Uh, not really. Uh, once you uh, once you have a one of the, uh, one of the pieces uh, uh, chain uh, 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 suffering from the effects of chain destruction, the duel is supposed to be over in your favor. But you'll notice we still can't actually attack him. I mean, we have spell shattering arrow, which, uh, which should enable us to start attacking him. But even then, we can't get over the stone statue of the Aztecs. So we're gonna sit here until we have the ability to get over those. Uh, what was the card? What was the card? Was it was it Dark Magician? Nope, did, did it's Yugi not. Play? It's Chimera, the King of Mythical Beasts. Oh yeah, that's right. All right, so is he gonna grab the red eyes and attempt to attack us with it? Because we have an answer for red eyes, but we don't have an answer for Stone Statue. Yep, he's gonna Why he's gonna bring out red eyes. Now, why in the world is he playing? Oh, because this yeah, is the red stole, eyes that he yeah, took he from Joey. Yeah, he stole red Joey. eyes from Joey uh, using the anti-roll. Hey. 
Hey, what? what well, then, then it's not really theft. It's the anti roll. Right. Nah, right back at Polly? you, Buster. That is not Polly. Damn it! And here is something extremely gonna... stupid. We summon our uh, we summon our bird from it to try and thin out our deck by getting another copy of Gazelle. And we do manage to get another copy of Gazelle, but I think we only have two copies of Burfama and two copies of Gazelle in our entire deck. We have thinned the deck. Slightly. Slightly. Oh, look, now he's got Regeki. Now he's going to switch his stone statues into attack mode. Which was very like stupid idiot. Of him because we have Spell Shattering Arrow, so if we want to kill one, now we can do it. Well, right, one of them, and then he's going to. And then he's going to say, run away! <laughs> Turn yourself sideways! <laughs> Quickly! <laughs> but yeah, this is one of the smaller problems with this duel specifically. Yami Yugi doesn't have anything to run over the Stone Statue of Aztecs aside from uh, Summon Skull, Dark Magician, and, and, uh, Chimera, and Chim uh, uh, Chimera the King of Mythical Beasts. So what ends up happening is that he ends up waiting for any of these particular pieces to come out, and his deck doesn't have enough acceleration to get to them quickly. Right, enough acceleration, that is. Yeah. Like, Burfament is, like, the only card in his entire deck, in this, in this variation of his entire deck, that can actually thin out his deck at all. Do we, um... Well, I, I suppose Chain Destruction on ourselves would you not You can't use Chain Destruction on yourself. Oh. oh. Darn it, I thought it gave you that option. No, uh, Chain Destruction has to be used on an opponent's monster. Well, I, I trust that because of the whole light of intervention and chain destruction combo that this dual matchup is seriously uh, enforcing the issue on that. He doesn't run Heavy Storm. Th this is true. Seeger is not running Heavy Storm. Not that he needs it because he's got both Dark Hole and, uh, and Regeki, so... You see, according oh, look, to the... Oh, Time cannon... Seal! <laughs> According to the canon of the episode, r r uh, the Seeker, or is, it, is he? I thought I thought he was called Rare Hunter. No, no, no. The, Rare Hunter is Seeker the faction here. that he's in. His name is actually Seeker. Oh, right, 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 right. The, fa the faction. Gotcha. Uh, according to the canon of the episode, he exploited the duplicates of Exodia that he had in his hand because he realized that if he didn't start trying to defend his life points that he was going to lose the game by running out of life points. Yeah. And that's when he fell into a most insidious trap. Upstart Goblin. So at this point, like, you can just let the guy just deck himself out. Uh, yeah. Which is what we're doing here. Chain destruction on the gear goal in the moving fortress, which we, uh, uh, which misses, because, yeah, um... That's the only one. I really dislike this fucking duel, to be perfectly honest. Uh, the reverse the side of this duel, kind which, of suck, which yeah. we will be showing off, uh, which we'll be showing off in a moment, is actually really fun to, uh, because you get you get to play with uh, Seeker's uh, uh, stu uh, stupidly uh, fast deep uh, deep draw deck. But notice that we're halfway through our deck and we've still not seen polymerization or summon skull. It's luck of the draw, my friends. Luck of the draw. He's not about to concede the game. He's a computer player. He's going to try even if it's futile. Yeah. No, uh, but I but another uh, another small thing uh, that he did earlier was he played a copy of Reckless Greed, so now he is not able to draw cards. Correct. He set Graceful Aww. Charity and decided to not activate it. Well, because he realizes with only five cards left in his deck that it's going, that's suicide. I got it, I got it. Again, just the computer continues to 
exhibit intelligence in ways that I have not seen in a Yu-Gi-Oh sim before. Okay, so now we can kill two, uh, two of his three monsters. Yay, we're doing things. Barely, barely doing things. Because even if we brought out Ch uh, Chimera, we still can't get over uh, a Gear Golem. When the most frequent move of the game is, I'm going to end my turn, there, there's something seriously wrong going on. Yeah. Oh, there's finally polymerization. Hey, all right, now you're screwed. Except Chimera still can't get over Gear Golem the Moving Fortress. Good lord. Like, what is even the point of this guy? Uh, the point of Chimera is that he's a really cool fucking fusion monster, and they want and they wanted very specifically to um, to showcase uh, the new fusion rules that you uh, that you eat. I had to, you know, uh, participate with. After all, Joey was un uh, Joey was unable to actually uh, start um, uh, uh, playing against Seeker specifically because he had not, he had not yet formulated his deck for Battle City. So he had uh, attempted to summon Guilty the, the Dragon Knight on his first turn without sacrifices. Oh yeah, that's right. And he says, ah, 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 "You can't do that." All right, another dust tornado to blow up whatever his back row is. Nah. Okay, time seal because I'm a terrible person. Yeah, you're you're elongating the game at this point. I want to kill. I want to kill the stupid gear goal in the moving fortress. I really do. Are you going to try luring him into attack mode by putting a low attack monster on the field? No, because that wouldn't work. Because I happen to have too many. I have, happen to have too many monsters on the field with higher attack than uh, Gear Golem. Ah, oh, I see. So he sees the threat coming before it happens. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. And then he's. Yep. And due to this card's effect, draw a phase of skip. He ends his turn without blind. But I at least get to use multiply. Haha. <laughs> We're going to multiply. Come to me, my Karibo tokens. Yes. Finally, fucking summon skull. A little too little, too late there, Buster. No, well, we I mean, can now still, we, we can win it with battle damage thanks nah, to our Karibo tokens. Well, I mean, not oh, right, but you can't because you can switch the tokens to attack mode, right? That's that's the only reason because they can't be to they can't be tributed for a tribute summon. No, but I had a monster already uh, ready for tribute. I had another gazelle out. <laughs> Yay! Activate light force sword simply because I've been trying to activate it the entire game, and I'm, and I'm, and um, now is like the only time I'll get to actually use it. Ah, finally, we took down Seeker. <laughs> yeah, you you won, and I still have my Ute. <laughs> yeah, Seeker calls himself the weakest duelist of, of his crew, but to be perfectly honest, that can't possibly be tr uh, true if Kaiba's security is this lax. Ah. <sighs> Yes, and here and here's where Mer uh, Merrick speaks through Seeker, telling uh, telling Yugi that the Egyptian god cards are all in Battle City, despite the fact that Merrick, we never actually get to see Merrick participate in Battle City. No, we do. He he shows up towards the end of the tournament. No, he shows up having already won all of his locator cards at the end of the tournament. Well, I mean, we understand that, that because because he doesn't right because he doesn't do the dueling. The rare hunters get the locator cards for him. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yes, and for the entirety of Battle City, uh, Yugi gets a copy of Joey's Red Eyes Black Dragon in his deck. It's kind of a nice touch, but it's not relevant for like any of the matches aside from I think the fight against Strings, and even then, it's not that relevant. Anyway, in the next episode, we're going to be showing off a reverse duel, like, because I really want to show this off. Be safe, everybody.